Lee, and this is Louisa, and we're with the Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center. Today, we're going to show you how to make a La Katrina marionette um, for Day of the Dead. So, this is what we're making, and you should have in your kit two cardstock papers of the La Katrina doll, and you'll also have an envelope with tiny brads in them that's to connect her joints. And you have a dowel with some string on it, and that is so that at the end she'll be able to dance. To get started, we're going to just color our, um, our La Katrina. So you can use crayons, you can use markers or colored pencils, whatever you have at home, just use what you've got. Um, later on, you'll also need a pair of scissors, and I think that's all you'll need. Now that you're done coloring, you're going to take your scissors and cut out um, all of the bones um, around your lock. Lock the trainer doll. So just cut each of the individual parts out. have all that hard work of cutting out done. Um, we're going to take the bag of brads and we're going to connect all the joints. See, all her joints have to be connected. I'm going to start with her torso. So this is her upper body and attaching her lower body, her pelvis. And you do that with the brads. So you take the brads and you just poke it through the hole on her, the joint that you want to attach. And once you've got that poked through, you're going to join it with the other piece that you want to put together, so her torso and her pelvis, and then you open the back of the brad up to hold it in place. And then that's attached. And I'm going to move on to the leg. So the uh, femur is next, so this piece here that has a big Things, these go in the hip socket, so that's where it attaches to the pelvis. So here I'm going to add a brad by poking it in again. And attaching one leg, and each bone has a pair. And you'll see that I colored mine to match um, because there's one for each side of her body. Attach the other side. Once we have that, now we need to attach the lower leg to the knees down here. So they look like this. Here are her knees. Again, we'll just pop a back brad through those knee joints together. And do it again on the other side. And what's at the bottom of your legs? Your feet. So that's next. We're just gonna attach the feet to the ankle joint. Again, poking the brads through. If it's a little tricky for you to poke the brad through the holes, you can get um, a push pin or some, some, something small that's sharp to, to pop a hole in first and then push the brads through if you can't figure that out quite yet. So now we're going to touch her arms. And we have here are her shoulders um, and, and upper arms. And we're just going to attach them the same way. And now 
this is the lower part of the arm, um, the elbow and the wrist here. So we're just gonna add those to the upper arm. And then her hands, and she has a fan in one hand and an umbrella in the other. So, attach her hands at the wrist joints. And last, we're going to attach her head at the neck so she can move her head. All right. Now that you have all her joints together, we're going to um, attach her to the dowel and we're going to need tape to do that. So we're just going to stick this dowel on the back um, behind her. So I'm going to lay her flat on the table. And I'm just gonna put this dowel right down the center of her body and add a piece of tape just to the top of it where it connects um, to her head. So that is the only place we need to add some tape and just kind of run it along the edge of the dowel around the corner and then seal it down on each side. Then um, on the back, we're gonna punch some little holes in her shoulder joint and in her hip socket. And to do that first, I'm just gonna mark with my pencil little circles, the top of her, her shoulders and right here in the middle of her hip joint. So I'm gonna hold that up. You can see I just marked some, some dots right where I want to poke a hole. And you might use um, something sharp like a push pin or something. I'm going to try to just use a pencil, so a pencil tip to just poke a hole through so that I can um, thread some string through it. So I'm gonna actually thread the string through her shoulders first. So through one shoulder. So I can poke it through. If you have a needle, attach a string to that might be easier. I don't have one here with me. So I'm just gonna pull it through and I just use the tip of my pencil to help me do that. And I'm gonna go across to the other shoulder too. And pull it through. And then I don't want a lot of slack, but I want to knot this. You wanna leave a little bit of slack. before you knot it. And that's just a little bit of extra. You don't want to make it too tight. Once you've done the shoulders, you can come down to the hips and do the same thing. another knot at the bottom and this time you don't want to leave as much slack you want a little bit but not as much as you left for the arms tie another knot here and then you have your la katrina marionette and you can make her dance for day of the dead <laughs>